Hey everyone, welcome back to the Opulent Live. This is Ozzy here again, and today we are reviewing another writing instrument, this time another entry level writing instrument by the company Parker. This is their IM Rollerball series pen. So I bought this again from Amazon, wanted to try it out. I'm gonna try out some, you know, entry level uh, pens that are kind of in the affordable range so that you guys have a sense of, you know, um, which instruments to start off with if you don't want to buy a very expensive pen straight away it's just to kind of you know get into the hobby of collecting pens like you do for watches you know start off at entry level then work your way up to the more premium brands like Mont Blanc, ST DuPont and so forth so you know we, we recently reviewed a Cross Bailey we reviewed a Square Vayner we reviewed a Cross Rollerball pen and a Schaefer so and then we did uh, review a Waterman and a Monograppa, kind of more of the mid entry level uh, luxury pens, more towards the mid range. So this is one of the more basic ones. This is definitely not an, not an expensive one. Uh, you can buy this from Amazon for $13.99 at the time of filming. We're gonna review this and test it out and see how it works. So this is by the company Parker, well-established brand, UK based, established in 1888. Uh, they have a long history of making pretty good, decent writing instruments, entry levels, some of them premium, but most of them are towards the entry level or mid-range market. So this is one of their more entry level uh, rollerball pens. So this comes in a pretty basic packaging. Uh, I mean, I would not expect anything more fancy at this level. Parker IM written on the sides, cream and gray tones of packaging, cardboard. Has Parker written in a gold font. And then it looks like it possibly hangs from one of those shops that you see. We've got a hang clip over here. In the back, we just have some instructions telling us that this is a rollerball, fine point with black ink, has a two year warranty, and written in different languages. And it looks like this was imported from Canada. Yeah, based there. they have divisions all across the world. They're an international brand. What else? It says it's a rollerball roller, it's refillable, and it's fine point. So we're gonna test that out. It just says Parker I am on both sides. And we just have a sales service website written here. All right, so let's open it up, see what's inside. Uh, open it up. Oh, looks like the refill is popping out. There's a refill separately in there. So the inner casing, put this to the side, we have the pen itself, and then it looks like there's the, the refills on the left side. So let's take the pen out first. There was a plastic retainer with it. Oh, feels very nice. So let's take out the refill also. And they are using a Parker proprietary refill rollerball made in France. Feels like the feels like this refill might be a little bit old because of the fading that I'm seeing on this packaging over here. It might be just sitting around in the warehouse for a long time. That might be it, yeah. They're not the best finished refills I've seen. <coughs> We're gonna load that up in a second. <coughs> Let's look at the pen first. All right, so this is their IM Rollerball pen and this is the espresso finish that I chose for myself. And it's a pretty decent finish of uh, pen feels really nice and decent in weight. It has, I would like to say a brown and grayish type of color tone. That's why it's called espresso and it has a lateral brushed finish across. It's kind of hard to see on the light here, but if you see it in the pictures, you'll see it has a lateral brushing all across. And it, the color is kind of a mixture of brown and gray together that makes for the coffee type of tone that you're seeing, hence the name Espresso. Flat bottom, it has silver chrome appointments, their classic clip with the arrow, and not a lot of design themes. You do see their Parker written in small font with their logo. If you look at the cap where it meets the body of the pen, yeah so that's the finish feels premium feels decently premium for the price it's a click lock friction based operated system 
it's a very satisfying click. Pretty nice. Feels good. Doesn't feel bad at all. It's not magnetic, but yeah, it's a friction based click lock operation. It does post. Feels okay in the hand. So let's go ahead. The barrel is black. It's not finished in the same tone as the cap and the body of the pen. It's black plastic finish. And yeah, silver chrome appointments. Let's take it out. So it just rolls off like a typical rollerball pen. Let's load it up. I'm not sure if it, yeah, let's take both sides off. I'm not sure if there's a, so there's no spring, no spring actuation. Okay. I'm not sure if this is the right way. Let's see. I think this is the right way. Okay, I may have maybe making a mistake. So let's take it off again. So you have to keep this on if you want it to work. At least it looks like that. Yeah. Or maybe I do. Alright, so to put it in, you have to make sure that this end cap is on. And then put this in, make sure it fits in. It's not the smoothest operation when putting the refill in. You have to make sure it you know, goes at a specific angle and then it goes all the way in. Only then can you put this on top over here like that. So a little bit complex. And then, okay, so it continues to spin around. It doesn't like give you the sense that it's all locked in. That's not, that's something to consider it's not the best of finishings and then you can see that even though i've screwed it all the way back in some of the plastic on the nib gets exposed regardless i don't like that and let's see if i can tune it out a little bit if i'm putting it the wrong way yeah no definitely so it keeps screwing on despite being tightened up and then you have this exposed plastic at the top. Don't like that. And that's not, it might have something to do with the refill. Maybe it changes if you change the refill out, but yeah, that's a bit, bit of a bummer. So otherwise, posts well, feels okay. Decent weight, let's test it out. <clears throat> Zoom in and let's write with it. All right, it's pretty smoothing flow. Yeah, a little bit of resistance, a little bit of lateral resistance in writing ink flow is smooth it's medium to fine point i'd say yeah slight resistance in some direction so let's do a line test yeah it's okay a little bit of heavy bleed on that end All right so definitely a little bit of thickness difference and going from right to left and then left to right let's do it one more time Slight difference, not very noticeable. Let's do vertical test. And that's all right. You can see there's a little bit of inconsistency in the ink flow. You know, depending on the amount of pressure you apply, it does tend to smudge a little bit, looks like. All right, let's do a spin uh, spiral test. All right. Another direction. Let's do a zigzag. So not the smoothest of flowing, but there's no stagger. You can see the ink flow is it's even, but it's not super even. You can note over here, there are some breaks. And yeah, ink flow is not even. That might just have to do with the refill. But it's okay. It's not bad. I mean, for the price, it's I would give it a pass. So overall, it's an average pen. There are some finishing issues that I like to see rectified. Might have something to do with the refill, but decent weight, feels good, looks good, looks good on the clip. And uh, yeah, it's not a flimsy clip. It's pretty strong. So yeah, so that was basically a quick review of the Parker IM Rollerball pen, guys. And just to let you know, specifically the material is anodized aluminum metal. And 
in the, they say lacquer but I, I think this is not a lacquer finish it's a metallic brushed finish yeah dark espresso varnish it's metallic I don't sense any lacquer there is all it's all metallic finished from top to bottom and it's a comfortable ergonomic shape and yeah so pretty good looking pen but I would suggest maybe swap out the refill for something more premium to get a better experience in writing I think Parker makes other refills as well that are worth trying out and uh, yeah we'll see over time how this works and yeah until then guys take care have a good day and uh, stay tuned for the next review make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel and thank you for your continued support we are above 200 subscribers guys so keep on subscribing keep on sharing the links and keep doing the content and i'll keep bringing you more stuff more unboxings more reviews as time goes by watches uh accessories pens all of that good stuff all right take care have a good day bye bye